Jagex just put out their green light poll blog for the Ruinous Powers. The Ruinous Powers is a brand new prayer book that'll be coming out with Desert Treasure 2. I'm really excited about it. So apparently in this blog post, I've just barely glanced at it. Literally, I haven't even read much. But I think they're actually describing what the new prayers are going to be. Now, of course, I believe this is going to be subject to change, whether we like them or not, but I'm pretty sure this is what they're proposing for us, and then we pull, and then we uh, vote on it. So, by the way, what do you guys think of that chair? I think it looks nice. We're getting, those are just uh, pillow covers, so I'm getting four different, like, little pillows, and those will be the <laughs> pillow covers. That thing's squishy as fuck. I love that squishy thing. Also, I got the curtain rods hooked up. You guys can't see them, but I actually got, like, the, the bar. So um, I'm getting curtains. I'm trying to think. What kind of curtains should I get? Uh, so there won't be curtains on the sliding door just yet, but there will be on the window. And I got to say, guys, I was really happy to hear that you guys, some of you were interested in my decor for the apartment. Also, I'm not really sure where to put all the exercise stuff. I was thinking of moving the bike into my room. I actually do have room for that. Um, the bar, I'm a little worried about. But, um, oh, and I got like a little glow up like neon mushroom <laughs> right there. So you guys can't see it. Maybe I'll show it on like the apartment tour and the... Probably in like two weeks, I'll do a legitimate apartment tour because I'll actually have all my stuff, most like, not all my stuff, but like vast majority of it, 90%. And so then I'd feel comfortable just showing it off for you guys. So anyway, let me know if you guys want an apartment tour down in the comments. And while you're down there, just smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And also, you know what? We might as well just make it even more. Go down in the description, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. All right. I need help. Seriously, I really do. All right. Let's... um. My logs are almost full. The redwood chopping's going well. I mean, I know forestry's coming out, but I, redwoods are, uh, they're, they're just, they're too chill, you know? Something happened with the tile indicators. What the fuck? Looks like I'm playing on a McDonald's server. It's like yellow and red everywhere. All right, here we go. The Ruinous Powers Green Light Poll Blog. A note from the team, 1550 GMT, March 3rd. Hey, all, it looks like you've already got a lot to say about our initial proposal. First of all, we'd like to say thank you to everyone who's taken the time so far to leave constructive feedback for us. It's clear at the moment that opinion is pretty divided, with different players and player groups ultimately wanting different things from the Ruinous Powers. We'll be taking some time to coll collate. Is that <laughs> collate? Is that like collaborate? Um, read over and think about the feedback you've submitted so far as well as over the coming weekend. While it looks like there are some small tweaks we could have made, we could make to what we've already, to what we've got already. Jesus Christ. Read, Sebe. Come on. It seems like we have bigger chances to make to, <laughs> bigger changes to make to increase both yours and our own confidence and our design. All right, I'm going to start fucking focusing on these words. Jesus Christ, it's early. 10.30 a.m. Christ. All right. We'll be back next week with an adjusted approach to help us zero in on your feedback and guide us through the next steps following a delivering... Please, somebody. I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. All right. Next steps towards delivering a set of prayers that interest and excite you. It's like I'm just reading words that aren't even there. I'm getting worse at reading as I grow older. It fucking sucks, man. Somebody said love the content. Say, so. uh, Just for proof. I got to show the proof, you know. Shout out Lone Strider. Legend. <clears throat> Hope you're watching this, man. Drop a, drop a thumbs up on the video. All right. Thumbs down at this point. I'm just butchering this whole blog post. Old school's most epic grandmaster quest to date, Desert Treasure 2, The Fallen Empire, is on the horizon. No quest is complete without some exciting rewards, and you've already had your say on a handful of offerings from the upcoming continuation of the Maharat storyline. I fucking nailed that. This blog is dedicated to the most significant of all those rewards. The Ruinous Powers, old school's first ever new prayer book. I'm... I'm excited about a new prayer book. I really am. I hope that the prayers we see are not just totally just annoying. That That's really the thing. I don't want them to be annoying. I want them to be overpowered. Not overpowered. I just want them to be powered. Like, you know, just better than what we currently have without there being a huge pitfall to using all of them, you know? Like, you know, we'll, I will share, trust me when I say I'll share my thoughts on every single one of these motherfucking prayers that we're about to cover. All right, a brief history lesson. <clears throat> God damn it. I had to go back to school. 
All right. I, you know what? History is great when you're out of school, actually. Like, I fucking love learning about... It's crazy how much more I love learning in adulthood. Like, I guess it's just the fact that I learned what I want to learn now rather than just being forced a topic on me and just... And being a child, that didn't help either. <clears throat> all right. Some of you might be wondering how we wound up in the middle of all this Maharat mess in the first place. Or whether the denizens of Gilinor know anything about the ruinous powers already. It's time for a history lesson, but we'll be brief, so don't go reaching for your space bar just yet. All right, now. Um, Gilinor these days is a relatively peaceful place. Sure, there's the odd incident of regicide and subsequently mobilizing an entire army to revive a dark lord or constructing a fleet of warships and hordes of demonic gorillas or laying waste to an entire navy <laughs> using mind control dragons or the potential resurgence of an infamous historical mage who wields powers <laughs> beyond our comprehension most of the time though things are pretty quiet whoever's writing these like you, you guys you guys or guy or girl or you know whoever is doing this fantastic job seriously like i you know, I don't give you guys enough credit. These blog posts, you, believe it or not, these blog posts used to be boring as fuck. Uh, you guys probably don't even remember reading blog posts, you know, years and years ago. They weren't this exciting. Now, I mean, you know, I got my own gripes, but it's all fun and games at the end of it. I don't actually have any gripes with it. I just kind of pretend like I have a gripe with what they said, you know, in the blog post just for entertainment's sake. But you guys are doing great. <clears throat> all right. Things weren't always this way, though. A long time ago... During Gilinor's Second Age, war ravaged the lands. The Zerosian Empire's insatiable imperial ambition helped the Empty Lord and his followers spread their tendrils. What? <laughs> All over Gilinor with seemingly no worldly match for the servants of the ruinous powers. Chop, chop. Come on. Chop these. Chop this redwood. Come on. During... Beneath Cursed Sands, Melhard told us all about the great war he lived to experience also known as the Caridian Zerosian War. He spoke of how the Caridian forces were utterly decimated by the servants of the Ruinous Powers, a force so insurmountable that demigods Itchlerin and Amasket, who w wasn't always quite so bad. Oh, Amasket wasn't quite so bad, okay. Sought help from a place beyond Gilinor, the Maharat, Itchlerin's stern judges were brought to Gilador for the first time to turn the tides. For a while, it seemed the Caridians had found a match for the Ruinous Powers until a snake in the Maharat-shaped grass broke rank and convinced the other Maharat to swap sides. This sounds like the Adam and Eve story a little bit. Like, what the fuck? He turned into a snake and started convincing everybody of something? What? Okay. The rest, as they say, is history, or it would be... Or it would be if there weren't quite so many miscellaneous Maharat antics occurring in the Caridian Desert after all these years. Now that's all a little intense, so let's enlighten the mood by saying that these powers are soon to be yours for the taking. Isn't that nice? That is nice. I'm excited. Community suggestion summary. Since we put out our rewards greenlight blog, you've come out in spades with all kinds of creative ideas for what the ruinous powers might look like, which is super handy because everybody reached everybody we've reached out to for information on what they actually looked like has ghosted us. <laughs> what? Who ghosted you? Name and shame. Ooh. Zero sugar, boys. Don't worry. Don't worry about my health. All right, here we go. We've had an absolute blast reading through your suggestions and coming through hundreds of potential prayers and wanted to take a moment to talk through some of the more common themes we've seen popping up. Getting a sense of where your suggestions overlapping helps give us an, a, give us an idea of areas we can focus on when trying to put together a fancy new book. So here's a brief rundown on some of the main areas of overlap between your suggestions, starting with the most recognizable group of play, prayers in the game protection prayers to the surprise of absolutely nobody all of you were head over heels for overheads and protection they provide these popped up in some form in near in near enough in near uh, and popped up in some form in near enough every full book suggestion what and seem primarily to take the approach of reducing damage by somewhere in the region of 80 to 90 percent which is in line with the example we gave in our initial mention of the ruinous powers. I hate that. You are you guys already know if you didn't if you missed the ramble, protection prayer that doesn't actually protect you all the way is just it's chipped it's it's called chip damage. It's annoying. We all agree that it's annoying. All right, some of you got a little more creative, including things like 100% protection with a percentage of mitigated damage being taken from prayer points. Way better. 
Um, hybrid protection, protect from magic and range at reduced effectiveness. That's pretty, okay, so I'm actually okay with that. You know, if you're gonna be like super hella lazy or you're killing Grardor and you just are like, he can do a melee and a range attack against me. Let me just pray both, like, let's go. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, yeah, there there is a place for that, I would say. Um, or even protection that scales with your defensive bonuses. Well, wait, what was this other one? Timed immunity overheads that you'd flick for a tick or two to mitigate any damage, but with its own cooldown. I like that as well. Um, I, I like a prayer, you know, where you tap it, and instantaneously when you tap it, you lose prayer points, rather than it being some new code that's like, every time you try to one tick flick this, we're still going to drain you. Just have some prayers that are like, Boom, I clicked it once, I drained 10 prayer, but some powerful effects about to happen, you know, or powerful protection that I don't need to worry about for the next 10 seconds. That'd be kind of cool. Recoil. This is something we'd be, we'd been toying around with a little, and we're excited to see many of you toying around with, I thought I said tool, <laughs> with two. We saw a handful of approaches on how to tackle these, but the general idea of using your prayer to somehow buff recoiled reflected damage seemed to be popular one as many of you tried honing in on high risk, high reward elements for your proposals. That's actually kind of cool. I like re recoil. We saw approaches as simple as turn prayer on, recoil more damage. <laughs> That's cool. I'll, I do like that. Uh, overheads that increase your recoil damage and in some cases increase the damage. I'm... I'm so excited for a new prayer book. Holy shit. Like, I, I'm just thinking of so many different possibilities with the prayer. I'm excited to see what they've kind of come up with. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll have some more ideas to share. Some of my own ideas, excuse me, to share. Not like I really am super obsessed with any of my ideas coming into a prayer book. I'm really just excited to see what they've come out with and what, what the community's come out. My rice is done. It, it's, it's in the rice cooker. Hopefully it's just warming. All right. <clears throat> Where are we? <laughs> We saw some approaches as simple as turn prayer on, recoil more damage, overheads that increase your recoil damage, and in some cases, increase the damage you take. Or even ongoing thorns affects overheads, where any target who damages you is returned a percentage of that damage as long as the prayer is enabled. Interesting. This sort of risky playstyle seemed to excite many of you, especially those looking forward to stepping up their abilities with well-timed and well-executed vengeance casts as opposed to the more passive approach that some things like thralls provide. Damage prayers. No prayer book is complete without some kind of damage buffs. As for exactly what those buffs look like, there were too many different approaches to properly capture and do justice in this short segment. We've tried baking some of our favorites into our initial proposal, but some examples of things we saw crop up a lot include powerful offensive prayers without defense boosting components, Prayers offering range strength or rain or magic damage. Thank you. Tribid prayers that are a weaker. Wait, wait. What did they say? Prayers offer range strength. We already have a range strength prayer. The magic magic strength prayer would be a fantastic. Tribid prayers that are weaker than their spe style specific counterparts. Low life, high risk versus high reward options for bonus accuracy or damage and loads more. Run energy. Something else that you were suggest and again we're something else that you were suggesting time and again were prayers that affect energy in some way i'm losing it some of you tackled this by wanting to reduce drain rate others by draining prayer instead of energy while running having energy regen scale with prayer bonus loads of interesting and innovative approaches in fact we have a proposal for an energy affecting prayer that came directly from a community suggestion but more on that in just a moment Skilling prayers. The rewards green light uh, poll made it pretty clear that there's interest in prayers that touch on skilling. While we didn't see a lot of particular, particularly distinct suggestions, the ones we did see focused pretty consistently on gathering skills. We've included some of your suggestions as well as some of your thoughts down below, so keep reading. There's so much more we could say about some of the fantastic ideas you shared, but we'd be here all day and probably overshoot the character limit on news posts. So without further ado, let's take a look at our first proposal for the Ruinous Powers and give you the chance to have your say. Say, bae. All right. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, let me just check on this rice real quick. I'll just... <laughs> yeah, one sec. Yep, it's good. It's it's on the warm setting. Hope it'll it'll be fine. <clears throat> Might dry out a little bit, but it should be good. Alrighty. Our task is simple. 
Pick a new prayer book that doesn't outright overpower the prayers that we all know and love. Bake in the common themes from hundreds of community suggestions. Make something that feels rewarding for skilling focus and combat focus content and deliver on some elements of high risk versus high reward without making the new set of prayers inapproachable. Simple, really? <laughs> yeah. All right. Over protection. Holy shit. Protect two items on death, but drains prayer by 25% of damage taken while active. I like that. I actually, I really actually like the protect two items. Um, I think one thing that would be cool. It, well, here, let me, let's just read these first. I'll share my thoughts later. We saw a lot of people touching on protect item in general, and many suggestions seem to lean into a higher risk alternative for a potentially higher reward. This could be given in an in activation cost to prevent just flicking it on as you meet your ultimate, or sorry, untimely end. Rejuvenation, utility combat, while active, re regenerate 1 HP every 20 seconds. This needs to be way fucking higher. I'm sorry. Like, rejuvenation, this should not be every 20 seconds. This should be like every 10 seconds. Uh, or even faster. I, I would literally even say have a prayer that like... No, nah, I think 10 seconds is probably the fastest you'd need. So, regen 6 HP every minute. To be honest, it could even be faster. It could be every 6 seconds you regen 1 HP. But at a severe prayer cost, you know what I mean? Um, or do something that's like kind of exponential. So, like the first prayer point regens after 20 seconds. The next one after 18 seconds. The next one after 16 seconds. The next one, you know. So, it's like the longer you have it on, it's actually increased. It's, it's taking up more of your prayer, but it's increasing how quickly you're healing. Something that legitimately people will use. Nobody's going to use this shit. Like... I guess they will. They'll just permanently have it on or something if you're just lazy. I don't know. I just feel like having a regen HP prayer should be way faster at a really high cost. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Rapid heal wasn't quite rapid. <laughs> yeah, so just increase it literally one more per minute. What? So we thought we'd try upping the ante. This would likely have a hefty drain rate. Why? It's, it's 3 HP a minute instead of... Is this three extra so it would be four every minute? Maybe that's maybe that's what they're thinking. So wait, would this combine with the HP cape? So it's like, or max cape? So you actually would be getting... Wait, so you'd just be getting five. I don't know, five HP a minute? I guess that's actually kind of what I was looking for. So who knows? Maybe this is fine. <clears throat> Additionally, this would conserve the functionality that Rapid Heal has where flicking it on and off could conserve boosted HP or prevent HP regeneration for all of you Darok enjoyers out there. I just say Darok. I, I always say Darok. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right. Dampen. Reduces damage from the appropriate style by 90%. Stupid. All right. Had to say that. Stupid. Just like the overheads you've come to know and love, but with slightly less defensive prowess, it's worth remembering that old school tends to prefer rounding numbers down, meaning it's possible to take zero damage using this prayer. Effectively, if you would have been hit between one and nine, you'll take zero damage when this appropriate, uh, using the appropriate damage. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's not bad. Or if you had been hit at 29, you'll take two damage since we round, okay. That's a lot better because that's more like nine. It's it almost feels more like ninety five percent at that point. Still, I don't like it because it's just chip damage. Which in most situations, okay, let me just share a little bit more thoughts on this. In, in most situations, it's fine for the average player using this. Nobody's gonna have that big of a problem unless you're in a longer fight and the chip damage. You're like you're just getting unlucky almost, and you're just it. It just becomes annoying. Uh. And we've seen that. I don't need to even spell that out. Chip damage is annoying, especially when you have a chance of not taking chip damage. Like at a place like Fasani's where you're not taking damage and then you're using this new stuff and you're just taking a lot of damage. The whole fight's a little bit different. Um, again, it's kind of fine, but I know that they're doing this because the prayers on the spellbook are going to be a lot more OP. So for things like Inferno and crazy challenges where you truly do need to not take any damage or else you'll die. Or if you're in, you know, doing some crazy feat like Exact does and you just, you need to hold on to all your HP at all times and it's not going to, I don't know, just something like that. It sucks because then they're basically not allowed to use the new spellbook or I I've probably said spellbook multiple times, prayer book. 
Um, I don't know. Like... I mean, it's fine if it comes out like this. I'm going to be a little bit upset because there's so many better ways to go about it than just just adding chip damage. It's It sounds better on paper. It really does. And then you start messing around with it, and it's just annoying. It's annoying. And this is what we're going to end up having for years and years and years is the chip damage prayer. And it's just like, ugh. all right. We got a wise old man event. <clears throat> Absorb. Ooh, what's this one? Reduces damage from the appropriate style by 100%, but drains prayer points by 10% of the mitigated damage. Uh, okay, this is a this is a better way to do it. So it's 100% protection, but you are draining prayer points. Mitigate 70 damage, lose 7 prayer points, but take 0 damage. So... Okay. Is it with... Wow. Okay, so Absorb is literally full protection from everything. And it drains your prayer points. It's a... Jeez. Okay, this is way too OP. What the fuck? You just pray this and you're protected from everything. And all it costs is prayer. <laughs> okay. This is way too broken. Huh? We're coming from this chip damage to fucking absorb. All right, give me a second. We'll read this in a second. This prayer drain can round down to zero, meaning if you mitigate nine damage, you'll lose zero. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. So you're, what you're saying is, okay, what? Just like the overheads you've come to know and love, but with an increased cost, two sets of protection barriers. That's crazy. But it's three. Or What? The aim here is to provide overhead options that are both strictly worse than the standard prayer book, but that might see use in different... <laughs> what are you talking about? This is fucking busted. Uh, or require on-the-spot decision-making. Perhaps you're running low on food, but have a bunch of extra prayer restore. Uh, you could opt in to, <laughs> to these to restore the balance before returning to 90% damage mitigation. What? Uh, huh? Just pray absorb all the time. I mean, I guess if it's like an insane drain, that's something different. But like, okay, let me think about this. So I'm just imagine, I'm just trying to imagine something that everyone's dealt with. Let's just think of Grardor, and you're using that. You are in a God Wars dungeon setting where you have three minions attacking all three styles against you. Now you just pray absorb, absorb all that shit, take no damage, and you just bring a brunt, a, a bunch of prayer pots. Like, and you're protecting against Grardor. I mean, I guess if he, like, punches you and it hits a 50, you know, that's going to drain five of your prayer points. But it's, like, five fucking prayer points. Okay, this is so broken. This is so fucking broken. Am I high right now? Like, you're trying to add chip damage all of a sudden, and then, like, two prayers down. It's just, like, full-on busted. Or, okay, wait, is this... There's no way you're protect. Okay, I'm. I'm just thinking. Maybe I'm. Maybe I just went on a whole tangent thinking that you're praying all of these at once. It may. Maybe it's just one at once. Did I just like oversee this? Um. Oh. Okay. I mean, I guess it says right here it reduces damage from the appropriate style. So does that mean there's three different absorbs? That mu That has to be it, right? Okay, yeah. I, I was freaking out way too hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I literally thought... I, I just read right here because Dampen also shows the same thing. I, I didn't... I must have missed this. And then I just thought, like, all these were... Okay, I, I'm sorry for going on, like, a three-minute tangent about that. I thought this was the broken thing and the most broken thing ever. In before, like, 7,000 comments down below just fucking railing me for, like, not understanding Absorb. All right, that makes a little bit more sense. Full protection... From an individual style, not all three at once. Holy shit. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Sorry for wasting your guys' time. Ancient precision, ancient strength, ancient sight, ancient will. All right, so this is 20% attack, 20% strength, 20% ranged attack and strength. Okay, 20% magic attack. Add the fucking strength, God damn it. Not 20% magic strength, but, you know, 5% maybe. These are almost on par with higher level prayers we're used to, but still not quite there. 
Alongside a heftier prayer point drain rate, we could merge superior attack strength to save some space in the book if absolutely needed, but a combination of the two would also have a higher drain rate to compensate. I think just add the two together, to be honest. In almost no... I mean, nobody's ever just going to be using attack, I feel like, you know? I mean, obviously, people would just use strength alone for a smaller prayer drain, but like, I feel like just combine the two, you know? Especially if they're adding range strength and range attack, you know, like those are in the same thing. I know they are the same thing because there is only just one range skill, but yeah. I'm still just so embarrassed about how hard I went on Absorb. I'm sorry, guys. Jesus Christ. All right. Trinita, tr Trinitas? Um, sounds like pork rinds for some reason. Trinit Trinitas. Like it sounds like, uh, I don't know, chicharrones a little bit. I, pff, I'm. Pff, yeah, anyway, 15% magic attack. I'm just hungry, I guess. My rice is done. I want to put some beef in it. All right, 50% range attack and strength. 50% melee attack and strength. This is awful. What? This one might be a little out of left field. Yeah, it is. Uh, but we... Oh, wait. Oh, this is all of them, I think. But we saw a few suggestions for something like this and thought it would be worth exploring. Effectively, you're still getting to grips with nailing your offensive prayer switches, this would enable you to trade some prayer points uh, for and some reduced power for a little less stress if you're still getting grips with PBM. I see. So this would be something where you're beginning, you're learning Chambers of Zarek or something, and you're at Ulm or wherever you are, and you, or Vanguards, for example. Vanguards is actually the best example I can think of. You're in the Vanguards room, and the last thing you want to be fucking around with is your prayers while you're gear switching. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's not really going to help you improve because you're just going to keep that thing on. Um, I mean, I guess it'll help you to improve like gear switches first. You just have to have accountability and just be like, okay, time to work on prayers now. Ruinous smite overhead offensive reduces your opponents and your own prayer points by 33% of damage dealt. That's insane. Holy shit. It's smite, but with a higher drain rate on both you and your opponent. I think it's kind of cool. Again, this is a PvP prayer, and I guess Muspa, but interesting concept. Increases, so this is Gambit. Increases your accuracy with all combat styles by 1% per 3% missing HP. So can you have multiple of these on at the same time? This is showing overhead, so probably not. Actually, okay, I guess you could have these offensive ones. So you would have like Ancient Strength and Ancient Precision on and then Prey Gambit. And it increases all your accuracy. Um, so if you were like 1 HP, it looks like you're th that'll be about 33% extra accuracy, right? So Darrocking is going to be amazing, I guess. But You wanted Risk versus Reward. Try this one on for size. Gambit is an offensive overhead prayer whose usefulness increases the lower HP you are. It's not too difficult to get a little boost from this prayer, but for players willing to risk it all and flick this between defensive overheads, you stand to get... Oh, I see. So, yeah, I forget that it's an overhead. You must... You wouldn't have any defensive stuff. Still cool, especially for PvP. Flick it on at the wrong time. Good luck tanking boss hits with no protection and at low HP. Okay... Overhead offensive reflects 15% of damage taken, but increases damage taken by 25%. Example, if a boss would hit you for a 60, instead of instead it will deal 75 damage. You'll reflect 11 damage back to the boss. So, interesting. I, I can't do the math right now. Is, so, is that 15% being taken from the 75? That must be the case, right? Or... Right? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right. But that's that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, yeah. Another offering on the risk versus re uh, reward front, this time centered around recoil. First and foremost, this prayer lets you passively recoil damage. Great. On the other hand, you'll be taking extra damage and, uh, and unable to use a protection prayer. Alongside the passive recoil damage, increasing your incoming damage gives potential for some seriously hard-hitting vegans. <laughs> Veggie tales. Uh, usage. All right. <clears throat> Decimate, annihilate, vaporize. Jesus, those are those sound crazy. All right. Fifty percent attack. Thir there we go. Here's the good prayers. Here they are. 
Um, 20% range attack, 30% range strike. So I should just show you guys um, these prayers. Oh, shit, I don't have the little things on. I'm pretty sure they're just 23% strength. So going up from 23 to 30 is quite insane. And finally, the magic has 4% magic damage. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Very cool. Um, yeah, awesome. Decimate, Annihilate, and Vaporize all pack more of a punch than their counterparts, Piety, Rigor, and Augury, but offer none of the defensive bonuses to compensate. On top of the reduced dur durability offered by the rest of the Runa's powers, prayers of this caliber are perfect candidates for post-quest boss drops, similar to the prayer scrolls you can obtain from the Chambers of Zarek. Interesting. Vindication. This is utility in combat. When reduced below 10% of your maximum HP without taking lethal damage, Vindication will heal you for 15% of your prayer level, draining 100% of your remaining prayer points, and upon activation, grant 10% bonus damage on your next attack. Huh. So it's kind of like, a, um, what's that prayer called? Redemption. <laughs> and... It heals you 15% of your prayer level, so not your prayer points. So it would just heal you a 14, I guess. So if you were at not, so it's literally, it's literally just redemption. That's ex isn't that exactly what redemption does? Um, and upon activation, grant 10% bonus damage on your next attack. Hmm. After you've been smited, I'm assuming. Whatever. The final card in the risk versus reward deck, a well-timed redemption can sometimes be the difference between life and death. Vindication is no different, except you're healing less to gain an offensive component. Oh, is that less? Oh yeah, you heal like 20... Do you heal 24 with redemption? This is just 14? Because 15% of 99 would just be 14. Unless it rounds up or it is 15. I don't know, whatever. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Metabolize. Each or eating delay is reduced by 0 0.6 seconds. That is sick. That's that's a that's a super cool prayer. Whoever that's awesome. Yeah, that's fucking cool. All right, turn this bad boy on and engorge yourself. When disabled, your action delay would be reset to your weapon's attack speed or left unchanged, whichever value is greater, to prevent you from quickly flicking this on to eat food and turn it back off again. Um Okay. I feel like that's unnecessary, that last part, like trying to uh, remove the ability to like one ticket. I think that's totally appropriate to, if you're, if you're that good and you have your prayer and your food right there and you F tab really quickly to like click it on, eat your food, click it off before it drains. I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't actually have a problem with that. That's a really cool idea of a prayer though. Sick. Wrath, while active, deal damage equal to 25% of your prayer level in a 5x5 five five radius around you on death. Ever wish, wish Retribution was bigger? I know um, Mod Ronin or ex-Mod Ronin definitely, you know, would love that for his, you know, whatever. <laughs> his nuclear things in the Rev Caves or whatever. Those, those, are, so, those are some sick-ass videos, by the way. Ruinous Grace Utility. While active, drain prayer points instead of run energy. <clears throat> this drain rate is modified by prayer bonus and does not take into account effects uh, effects like stamina. Okay. Have you ever gotten halfway through the underground pass before realizing that you forgot your stamina pots? Us neither, but it happened to a friend of ours. <laughs> Ruin his grace lets you keep on zooming at the expense of your prayer points. So make sure that you've got some prayer restore handy if you wind up changing head charging head first into combat and get caught off guard. That's a cool prayer. Conservation. While active, you have a chance to prevent a resource. You know what I really hope? I hope Ruinous Grace is one of those things where you can one tick flick it, you know? So you could set up your prayers. So like if you're at chambers and you literally have no prayer, if you have one prayer point left and you have like no run energy, you could just one tick flick that and just be able to constantly run. But you'd ha obviously that would be very, very challenging. That would be really cool to see though. Conservation, while active, you have a chance to prevent a resource from depleting when harvesting. Sacrifice a couple of in inventory spaces uh, for some prayer restoring potions. Have a small chance of re preserving a resource node, such as a runite rock. Okay, that's cool. I, I, I thought they weren't going to add any skilling prayers. Um, obviously, they said earlier that they were. But I thought in a previous post they said they were just going to be combat uh, focused. 
Ancient, I was about to say ancient ambulance, <laughs> ancient abundance. While active, increases success chance while gathering. This one offers a buff to activities like hunter, woodcutting, fishing, and mining, similar to the invisible boost you might see in some skill guilds. Okay. I mean, this is definitely like meta shifting entirely, so you would definitely want to have these on if you want to get extra resources. Um... Not even just extra resources, but extra success chance. I mean, so it's literally just boosting your XP too. While active, you have a 75% chance to destroy a resource when obtaining it, but drains one additional prayer point whenever a resource is destroyed. Why are we trying to destroy it? If you're looking for a little more AFK at resources that don't deplete, fishing spots, for example, and don't mind drinking a couple of prayer pots, this would be perfect to do with you. Wait, what? While active, you have a 75% chance to destroy a resource when obtaining it. What? Am I, like, what does that even mean? So, why do you want things to be destroyed? You have a 70... I'm... Um, I'm so confused. Somebody explain that to me down in the comments. All right. Note, at this stage, we're looking to understand how you feel about the concepts proposed. So we haven't included specific level requirements yet. We're anticipating the prayers on offer to range from 50 to somewhere in the 80s or even 90s. But that's a detail later or detail set for a later stage. Detail for a detail level for a later stage. <laughs> Not even reading. I'm like clicking on my game while I'm reading this shit. All right, just like opening a brand new box of celebrations, and what's a box of celebrations? And removing all the bounty bars. Sorry, not sorry. There's a. Is that what? What's a a new box of celebrations? Not like a, what? I, <laughs> what? Okay, I've never heard of any of that. All right, there's a lot to unpack here, and we can't wait to read your thoughts. But first, a little note from us. <clears throat> Let's read it. Before we carry on, we'd like to exit blog mode temporarily to get a little more personal. To say that designing Old School's first new prayer book is a bit of a daunting task would be an understatement. Some of our uh, players are extremely nostalgic for ancient curses. Some loved curses generally, but disliked some specifics. We didn't want to name names, but it's soul split. Some want to see the ruinous powers outperform the prayers that we already have. Others want it to be balanced. In short, there's a lot going on here. With more pl players getting stuck in the PVM every year, changes to player prayers, <laughs> players and prayers have the potential to impact huge swaths of content. We'd like to think that what that what we're proposing impacts the content positively. Thanks to your collective creativity and fantastic suggestions, we've been able to select a whole host of prayers that are interesting in their own right, but more importantly, come together in a set that we believe is cohesive and exciting without being overpowered. So I'll be in Protect from X, out for dampen and absorb prayers that we've seen crop up. I'm still thinking of absorb, holy shit. Uh, crop up in multiple suggestions sets the stage for the ruinous powers of sacrifice, the longevity, and endurance to gain access to power. That, when used well, should just feel good. That's what I'm looking forward to. Offerings like Gambit or Vindication afford veteran players the opportunity to maximize their damage by interacting with offensive prayers in a new way while providing new avenues for others to improve and hone their abilities. Converse. Conversely, Trinitas, Metabolize, and Rejuvenation are extremely simple to benefit from and give those of you, th those of us who aren't exceptional players, a reason to use the book. The lack of defensive bonuses or defensive requirements gives some builds better opportunities to punch up in PV PvP while increasing their own risk, as well as their combat level. In fast paced fights or on the total opposite end of the action were incorporated suggestions to benefit a more relaxed playstyle in the form of conservation, ancient abundance, and ancient offering. We really hope you like what we've put together and that you're able to look through the list of prayers and think about how you might be able to put them to use. We're excited and perhaps a little anxious to see what all of you think. Okay, so I actually want to go back up and just share my thoughts on the whole chip damage thing. Um, chip damage shouldn't be the shouldn't be what it is dampen should not be just 90 percent protection rate i think what would even be better is adding protection where it does protect you completely but if you pray the wrong thing it'll damage you 10 percent higher so for example you're praying melee and some ranger is now hitting you his attacks are now his or her attacks are now 10 percent more uh potent 
toward you. So it's like you need to be very precise with it. You know what I mean? If you start making mistakes, you're actually going to be taking more damage. I think that's a better way to go about it. Obviously, there's going to be situations where you are just getting attacked by two different styles. Uh, and then it's like, okay, well, I'm going to protect against one anyway. But I think that's a way better way than chip damage. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment. I hope I made sense right there. Just having a protection prayer up. If you're getting hit with a different style while that's up, you take 10% more, more damage with that style. You would have full protection against the style you're praying though. All right. Um, <clears throat> like we said earlier in the blog, it's clear there's an interest in prayers that touch on skilling in a meaningful way, but when looking over hundreds of suggestions from all of you, we struggled to pull out that many that tied into the wider themes we saw while being both interesting and balanced. We've included some of the more common suggestions to see how you feel, but we think we could likely do better. We're still on the lookout for some exciting skilling-focused prayers that tie into the themings of sacrificing something to gain something else. So if you have anything cool in mind, then make sure to let us know that we can try to improve the balance here. Otherwise, perhaps there's scope for a third skilling-focused prayer book someday. For now, though, all that's left, I, I, I really would suggest just getting rid of all the skill. This is my opinion. Get, just get rid of all the skilling prayers in the uh, ruinous powers. And then maybe one day we would just have a utility prayer book that, you know, would have to be really well thought out because there is just a lot of... Uh, prayers that would end up just being annoying to use all the time and you'd feel obligated to do it but i feel like it's better to just ignore skilling prayers for now that's my take on it who knows maybe it's fine to introduce a few just so we can get a, a feel for it so i'm not like super leaning hard against anyway um for now that's all okay these questions are advisory questions so that we can get a clear sense so these are just i'm not even going to cover all these but um you guys can read it down in the description this blog post will be linked just like most of my rambles i'll have it all the blog posts are down in the description for you guys to read along um okay we'd like to remind all of you that there will be a beta before we lock in the final version of the ruinous powers these questions are to give us the go-ahead to develop the prayers you'll be experimenting with in the beta if anything is clearly unpopular, then we'll likely aim to replace it with something different before the beta. For things that are generally positive but could be better, we'll make some minor tweaks using your feedback. And for things that seem super popular, we'll be over the moon. All right, enough jabbering. It's question time. So here's all the questions. Again, I'm not going to read them all because we just covered everything. But very cool. Okay, um, final little thoughts on my end is I think... Uh, Ruinous Prayers is awesome. I think they've come out with some really cool ideas. Uh, things I'm against, chip damage, don't like it at all. I love like getting rid of defense. I think that's a great way to go about balancing it. I also think having, you know, you could balance things by you take more damage if you're praying the wrong thing rather than just taking chip damage for perfect play. You know what I mean? You should never be punished at all for perfect play in PVM situations and stuff, in my opinion. So... My take on it, and you gotta also keep in mind this chip damage. It's like it's gonna be chip damage everywhere. Like if you want to use these new prayers and you're trying and you're using that thing, every fight becomes more annoying now because now you're just taking a little bit of damage all the time. It's it's gonna be tilting for me at least. So my thoughts. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I appreciate each and every one of you for uh, listening to the ramble. Seriously, it means a lot. Um, thank you, and. Uh, yeah i guess i'll just say it one more time be sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoy it anyway guys thank you uh also sebe cast with tau is going to be up later today so check that out uh probably in a couple hours and have a wonderful day guys peace